Hi there. Well, a little bit earlier this year, I did a video on building triple arches. I've had arches in my uh, Christmas display for a lot of years now, and I had single arches, and I also put snowflakes in the middle of the single arches. Now, the, the snowflakes are attached to the ground. I put some rebar in. I slide the PVC pipe over the top of it, and it holds it in place with two pieces of rebar. What I've decided to do this year, now that I have this uh, more solid uh, arch here with triple, I'm going, I had uh, SFL uh, designed for me some special uh, 3D printed parts and they clamp onto the EMT and allows the half inch PVC pipe to fit on there. And it's got special holes to be able to uh, put a screw through there, lock it in place. I will use M4 screws. And off the back of the uh, snowflake, I'm gonna put a support uh, piece that'll come at an angle off of the back of the snowflake and that'll actually add extra rigidity to the whole system with snowflake and the arch to prevent it from uh, blowing over in the wind. So Here are the two SFL fittings I'm going to use to make my snowflake mounts. The one here is a half inch uh, EMT clip so it'll clip right on the EMT pipe and then we have a half inch PVC coupling and then the next one here is half inch PVC clip going to a half inch EMT uh, it's coupling there so uh, give you both options uh, you can also get he has a half inch uh, PVC clip to a half inch PVC on the other side and EMT to EMT as well to get those 90 degree uh, connectors so, let's so the uh, half inch EMT clips are really quite tight. So what I'm gonna do to also wanna make sure I center my snowflake. So I'm gonna mark the center here for the distance I have uh, between the two edges of the snowflake is uh, 46 inches. So I'm gonna mark it right at 23, halfway. And then I will get my snowflake uh, with the clips on it and then line them up so I can mark the exact spot. So when I put them in position, I don't have to pop them off because they are kind of difficult to pop off which is good, it keeps it all locked nice into position. Once I mark the center, I then measure the distance between the edge of my clips here to line those up, then cut it in half and made sure I marked on both sides so I could put the uh, PVC clips, the EMT clip in the right position. And then once I get that set up, I'll get it lined up and then I start drilling holes. So with a hand drill, it's near impossible to drill a straight through hole. Um, and they're really kind of hard to get this set up on a drill pass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark some holes here. Then I'm going to, uh, and I'll mark on the other side and then we can drill. Um, so the two holes line up with each other. Okay, so just a little bit, just enough to, to mark the position. There we go. They're both marked. Now I'm going to go to the other side without moving the brackets and do the same thing. And then I can drill from opposite ends a hole that'll line up. Now I've marked on both sides. Now I'm going to pop them off just to show you this. I'm going to use a PVC pipe. Give yourself a little leverage to take these things off. You just do it by hand off the piece. It's kind of difficult. So that little leverage helps out an awful lot. So I marked the positions of my holes using a 964 drill bit. And I'm actually going to go up to a 532nd, a little bit larger to actually drill the hole. Um, if I did that larger, larger drill bit size, I would have... Uh, I would have torn up the uh, the holes here in the fitting. I didn't want to do that. Uh, this is for, I'm going to use M4 screws through here. So that's why I'm using these sides of drill bits. So let's drill the hole. Right there in the mark. Here, that one's drilled. There we go. So next time I do, I'm going to flip it over, drill the other side. So now that I got the pieces back in position, if I've drilled the holes, I'm going to take my in for a screw and I'm just gonna screw it in place. And that's all the way through. Next thing I do is a screwdriver, my M4 nut, and a little socket to tighten it down and I'll do it the other side as well. Now to put the M4 nut on, just hand thread that on. My screwdriver for the back side, my socket. This is a, uh, I'll look at the size of the socket here in a second. There we go, it's all tightened up. 
that is a seven millimeter socket. I'll lock in position. You, as you can see, you could probably use a little bit shorter. You might get away with a, this is a 35 millimeter screw. You might be able to get away with a 30. All right, the two pieces are locked in place on the EMT brace for the arch. Snowflake, I'm just gonna slide it in. All right, so I got it slide, slid into position. Uh, you could leave it this way if you wanted to. But I'm gonna drill some holes through here, just like I did on the EMT, and put the same size M4 screw through it to lock in position, because I'm gonna leave these on here permanently. Just like with the EMT, I'm gonna drill from both sides. And it's all set in position. So I'm drill, and that, now I'm just gonna drill through it, because the PVC is just so soft. I'll flip it over, uh, drill through the other side. Then all right, take my socket and my screwdriver for the back side. And just tighten it down. I don't tighten it too much. I don't want to overstress the, the part. All right, so next step is this is going to fall over in the wind. Um, with this, we've got all this sail from the snowflake. When the wind hits it front on, winds come straight on for me. Um, so I'm going to use this piece, which is half inch PVC to half inch EMT. It'll clip in this position and I have a piece of EMT that'll be bolted in position with an M4 screw. And on the bottom of it, I'm going to have a, a larger hole for a standard uh, tent stake that I can drive in the ground to keep it in position. Uh, so let's measure what that distance is going to be roughly here from here to here. I'm going to say that's about the right angle. So it's uh, 18 inches, a foot and a half. So I'm gonna go cut a piece of foot and a half EMT. All right, so I'm gonna cut my EMT. Foot and a half, I've marked uh, 18 inches. Foot and a half right there. Got my gloves, got my face shield, got my hearing protection. I'm gonna use my angle of a grinder with a cutoff wheel on it to cut this off in 18 inches. So let's get this going. So whenever you cut metal, you can get up with these burrs, especially when you're using a skinny wheel. So I just have a couple files that I can clean up the edges with. So I don't accidentally cut myself on it later. And I use uh, the round one from to the inside edge. Now, just like the base, I slid the EMT into the fitting. So I want to keep this perfectly lined up. And so I'm going to take another M4 screw, just a short one this time. Oh, that one went in good. I don't know. All right, so that's going to keep it in position. I'm going to go the other side and drill the hole from there. So now I'm going to take the M4 screw and slide it through. again there we go now time for the m4 nut all right for my drill press setup i just got a piece of wood here that's going to hold the uh the bracket here in position it's going to prevent it from pivoting side to side and i have a 5 16 inch drill bit i'm just going to drill straight through the end of that pipe all done this is a hole with drill for the tent stake here's the tent stake it goes through just like that uh without it work really nice i think it's a little loose that's fine i'll lock it into the ground okay now i'm just gonna do is put the uh the brace onto the ooh, onto the PVC. It locks in place. I'm not going to screw this in position. It's stiff enough, and it's going to be at an angle like that supporting it. And that will keep this this arch and snowflake locked into position. So here's the final configuration of the arch.
You will see the two pieces in the bottom all screwed into place. The bracket for the support going down. The hole for your tent stake. And we'll come around and look at the front. And there's what that arch is going to look like once it's set up in the yard. I'm really happy with it. I think this will work great. Seven more to go do.